Network Diagram UNITAS is building 10 latrines as part of a project to reduce waterborne illness in the community. To plan the project, they need to accurately estimate how long the work for the project will take. A useful tool to make these estimates is the network diagram. First, the team uses sticky notes to brainstorm the latrine building activities. Build a latrine cap. Dig a hole. Install the latrine cap. Build the outer structure. Then they sequence the activities in the order that they take place. Some activities are dependent on each other. For example, first dig the hole then install the latrine cap, then build the structure. Other activities can be done simultaneously. For example, while one group digs the hole, another group can build the latrine cap. Next, the project team estimates the amount of time it will take to complete each activity. From previous projects, they know it takes 14 days to dig the hole, a day to install the cap, and seven days to build the structure. The latrine cap takes seven days to build, but this can be done while the latrine is being dug. Once they know how long each activity will take, the team identifies the diagram's longest activity string, also known as the critical path, from start to finish. The critical path identifies the shortest possible project calendar. In this case, the latrines will take at least 22 days to build. The team also uses the network diagram to ensure that the time estimates they include in the project calendar are accurate.